हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन वेलकम बैक टू एक्सॉटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड दिस वीक आई हैड मेड सम वीडियोज ऑन राज योगाज एंड सम एग्जाम्पल चार्ट एंड मैनी ऑफ यू लाइक दोज वीडियोज एंड यू हैव सेंट योर ग्रीटिंग्स एंड योर अप्रिसिएशन फॉर दैट सो थैंक यू वेरी मच फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड मैनी ऑफ यू रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू मेक वीडियोज ऑन द पंच महापुरुष योगाज ऑल राइट सो here is a chart where there are two pancha mahapurush yogas okay so we will not discuss about both but we will discuss about only one here okay so pancha mahapurush yogas are special yogas which are formed when uh, particular planets are placed in particular signs and in particular houses okay so today we will discuss that yoga which is from through jupiter Okay, so among the five, as the word says, pancha means five. Five planets form these yogas. All right. So today, the yoga which is formed by Jupiter is known as Hansa Mahapurush Yoga. The word Hansa means a swan. So today we will try to see with some examples uh, how this yoga performs, and there are many conditions to this yoga, and in my experience also i have seen this yoga working when these conditions are satisfied and this yoga not working when these conditions are not satisfied okay so today we will try to see in short what this yoga is what are and what are the conditions all right so if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation for me regarding any of your yogas or raj yogas or any mahapurush yogas then you could go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him because today we are talking of hansa mahapurush yoga all right so when is a mahapurush yoga formed mahapurush yoga is formed when the planets like jupiter saturn mercury venus and mars all right so sun moon rahu ketu these do not take part in the mahapurush yogas the the remaining five planets if they are sitting in the kendra houses condition number 1 these are the kendras okay the first fourth seventh and the tenth these are not houses these are numbers okay so this is not number 4 this is the first house and the sign is number 4 so do not confuse for the newcomers All right so kendras are 1 4 7 10 and if these planets jupiter saturn mercury mars and venus are in the kendra provided plus they are either in their own sign or mool trikon or exaltation okay and both the conditions have to be satisfied simultaneously it cannot happen that jupiter is exalted but it is in the second or third or fifth or uh any other house apart from the kendra then this yoga will not be formed okay and if jupiter is in the kendra these four houses but if it is not either in cancer or sagittarius or pisces even then this yoga is not formed all right so what does it mean when we say there is pancha mahapurush yoga all right so i will not go into the technical explanation of uh, the pancha because the word pancha refers to the pancha mahabhut okay and each of these elements represent one of them and specifically if jupiter is exalted then what happens is see why why this is known as a mahapurush yoga now uh, the word mahapurush means uh, it, it does not mean it's talking of a man okay this is this does not mean that women cannot have these yogas it is the word purush here uh, means to both men and women but the meaning is that these yogas give us very high awareness because the sign where the planet sits gives us awareness all right awareness means how do we know how much do we know how to deal with that planet how to function with that planet okay so the sign gives us awareness okay so for example if jupiter is in Pisces it is in own sign and Sagittarius is the mool trikon sign and Cancer is the exaltation sign as it is placed here so when Jupiter is placed in these three 
signs in any horoscope in any house then we can consider that depending on the whole chart of course that the awareness of Jupiter is very high which means the person is uh, very highly aware of how to be spiritual or very high level of spirituality has been performed by that person in his or her past lives okay but now what's the second condition the second condition for this yoga to occur is it has to be in the kendra houses okay as i said in my earlier video uh, that kendra houses represent the pillar okay lagna is the body self then this is your fourth house which represents your peace of mind and your settlement fourth house is also the patal because that's where the sun uh, is at its lowest okay there the sun is exactly opposite of digbala then we have the seventh house which is the house of open enemies partnerships and love and marriage also and uh, this is the tenth house all right tenth house is the house of our primary karma that we do in life of course uh, these also have significations with the fifth and the ninth because they are the trinal houses and fifth house specifically is the house of love and children and uh, ninth house is the house of god and divinity so now what happens when these planets are in great dignity which means they are in own sign or multicon or exaltation and in kendra so this means that all those things which you are aware of regarding that planet is coming into your practical life okay because any planet which is in the kendra will anyways affect two kendras you see if a planet is here it will aspect here okay because every planet aspects the seventh from there or if it is here then it will aspect the seventh house okay so uh, any planet which is in great dignity in the kendra is really a great blessing okay so now hansa mahapurush yoga is one of the five special yogas which is formed by jupiter and now in this chart you see condition number one is jupiter has to be in pisces can cancer or uh, sagittarius it is in cancer number four sign and it is in the kendra because the lagna is also a kendra and a tricorn simultaneously so now i told you before that for this yoga to fructify in my experience i have seen there are certain conditions okay because uh, there are many many hundreds and thousands and lakhs of people who will have these Mahapurush yogas okay but you will see that these yogas do not fructify they do not give results okay and somebody asked me a valid question that day in the Raj yoga video that uh, somebody who is born in within two hours of this chart okay they will also have the same yoga but how how does it happen that everybody don't become the same well for that we have to go to the divisional charts all right which keeps changing so i'll not go into the divisional charts here but i will talk of the conditions which are required for these specific yogas to function okay and uh, in my experience i have seen different rules for different uh, mahapurush yogas okay so specifically i have seen that the planet which causes the Mahapurush Yoga, the Karakas which are related to that house, which means, uh, for example, here Jupiter is forming the Mahapurush Yoga, okay. Uh, of course, Saturn is also forming, but uh, let's not talk of Saturn here. I will explain the yoga formed by Saturn in another video. So, let's focus on Jupiter today, okay. So, if Jupiter forms this yoga, which means Jupiter is anywhere here in these three signs, okay, 9, 12 and 4, then along with that I have seen uh, the ninth lord should be well placed, okay, and to some extent I have also seen that the lagna lord and sun and moon also play a very big role, okay so along with that i have also seen that mercury also should be well placed because jupiter represents our uh, higher ideals okay anything that takes us beyond matter that's what jupiter represents the knowledge the guidance the gurus okay then why the ninth lord the ninth lord because ninth lord in anybody's chart can show the guru okay or can show the gurus which the person could be uh, gaining knowledge from all right so if the ninth lord is not well placed then it could happen that 
uh, the person is aware of spirituality because of Jupiter's uh, Mahapurush Yoga but the person cannot feel connected to the Guru or some Parampara or some religious tradition. So for them it becomes difficult to continue in the long run because you always need the support of somebody right to make big things in life. Uh, especially when it comes to spirituality we always need the blessings of the uh, gurus and our senior god brothers and god sisters otherwise uh, spiritual life uh, advancement in spiritual life is simply an illusion without their blessings okay so now in this chart the other thing which i said was sun moon and the lord of the ascendant should also be well placed why do i say that because suppose there is a handsome Mahapurush Yoga and the ninth lord is well placed but suppose sun, moon and the ascendant lord are not well placed okay then what happens although the person is very aware because of Jupiter and ninth lord's well placed good placement can give a give him a good guru or good relationship with the guru but if the sun, moon and ascendant lord are not well placed then what can happen is even though these things are there with the person the person may not uh, value these things okay or the person may not take initiative towards uh, doing spiritual activities in a way that uh, it could benefit his life all right so now this is an exceptional chart where you will see all the things are falling into place and i personally know this man and he is one of my uh, senior god brothers he is extraordinarily spiritual and he is uh, very 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 dedicated very committed towards the parampara where he is connected to and he has the best relationships with uh, his gurus and uh, the people in the spiritual community and he literally spends around three to four hours every day doing uh, meditation and reading the scriptures like the bhagavad gita and Srimad bhagavatam okay so why does this happen okay many people have these Mahapurush Yogas but why is it only working in his case well let us try to see all the conditions okay so now see uh, Jupiter is exalted here it is in the Lagna number two is uh, it is also in Digbala okay because Jupiter in Lagna becomes Digbala directional strength so when Jupiter is in Lagna then the person's ability to uh, look for divinity uh, becomes a very strong part of his life because that's in the lagna itself okay and when it is exalted it means that the person can have very high awareness also regarding that okay so now the the other conditions which i gave were just see the lord of the ninth house here ninth lord is also jupiter which is also in exaltation and also in digbala so this is a phenomenal condition which is getting satisfied here okay phenomenal yoga which is occurring in fact ninth lord itself is jupiter okay so that adds to the uh, yoga itself and then the other rules which i said the sun moon and ascendant lord has to be well placed now you see moon is here in the 11th house moon is exalted here in taurus and sun is also exalted here in the sign of aries and sun is also in digbala here all right and the lagna lord here is moon because we are talking of cancer lagna which is again exalted here and in the 11th house of gains all right so this is a phenomenal chart an extraordinary chart indeed these charts are rare to find and uh, these these are like they are actually like mahapurush which who sometimes take birth all right it's very rare to see such horoscopes and from the beginning phase of his life this person has always been into spirituality and inquisitiveness okay and also one thing i said in the beginning was mercury's placement is also important uh, why did, why did i say that because uh, mercury can give us the ability to understand things and explain it to others okay so here mercury is also in the 10th house and mercury itself is uh, the karaka for the 10th house okay so when mercury is in the 10th house according to the classics and so many other books and so many other astrologers who i met this is probably or perhaps the best position for mercury okay unanimously without any doubt so here mercury is also the lord of the third house you see that so uh, the third lord in the 10th so 
a primary part of his karma is to uh, explain things and you know understand things and explain it to others and this person is very forceful he is very uh, I, I won't say aggressive but he is very much geared towards making the positive changes in his life okay so the all the blessings of Jupiter is being enhanced by the powerful placements of uh, sun moon and the ascendant lord which is itself is moon all right so next time when you see a hansa mahapurush yoga please put an eye on the ninth house and here ninth house is aspected by this jupiter you see it's a great blessing to have the aspect of jupiter in the ninth house and you see the ninth lord which itself is jupiter here and you see where is sun moon and the lord of the ascendant all right so these things must be uh, taken into consideration when we are studying hansa mahapurush yoga so then you will realize why in, why in some cases it works why in some cases it doesn't work okay so now you have to identify the problem why the yoga is not working so suppose the yoga is there but if sun moon and the ascendant lord is not well placed okay so then you have to realize that uh, although i have awareness but i i am not very much geared towards making that yoga work myself okay so you have to realize the weakness is in me not in the yoga okay and suppose somebody's ninth lord is not well placed then it can happen that that person uh, needs to maintain some uh, more uh, relationship in depth with his guru okay so the remedy for that could be uh, strengthen the relationship with the guru okay then uh, then if sun moon and the lagna lord are well placed then you will see that this yoga is performing and it's giving mind-blowing results okay so this is uh, one of the best charts that i have in my laptop and this is a phenomenal chart indeed whoever has seen this chart is always mesmerized and also there is another yoga which is formed by saturn it is known as sasa mahapurush yoga so this is also a mahapurush yoga and here also saturn is in digbala because saturn gets digbala in the seventh house okay now there is a saying that uh, there can be only one mahapurush yoga which performs fully so here two mahapurush yogas are there jupiter and saturn but both are in digbala so now we have to check who is stronger as per the sign okay so here saturn is in own sign but jupiter is exalted so jupiter is the one who will dominate these the entire kendra okay because he is forming mahapurush yoga although sun is also exalted and it is also in digbala so it is another phenomenal placement and uh, this person is also born in a very very rich family in Hyderabad and he is uh, he's extremely uh, geared towards making things happen in life all right and uh, if you also see from the concept of Arudha Lagna then his Lagna Lord is in the 11th so the Arudha Lagna is in the 9th house and the Lord of the Arudha Lagna is placed in 5th from there Lagna is 5th from the 9th house and it is also exalted wow this is a phenomenal chart phenomenal from all sides from all domains of astrology and yes uh, like all other charts you will also find negative stuff here you will find planets in the 12th house you will find malefics in the 7th house but everybody has malefics okay so the malefics will be placed somewhere so we should try to see the good in every chart and then we will realize that we are able to see good in people also okay so if we find faults in horoscopes then we will also find faults with people all right and then our relationships with others is completely ruined and then we go to astrologers and seek consultations why am i not having good relationships in life all right so the remedy is maybe we are doing too much fault finding all right so now i know many people will write to me in mail or below the video oh this is a this is a very bad chart this bad yoga is there that bad yoga is there his life is ruined his this is bad that is nonsense well you can keep writing whatever you want but this video's purpose is to explain you how this mahapurush yoga works and how it is working here because all the other conditions are being satisfied all right
so that is it from my side if you like this video click the thumbs up and uh, if you want a consultation from me regarding these yogas or anything else uh, then you could always go down to my website in the description section where you can book a reading with me all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him see you